Okay, hi to everyone. This was a little project that I was working on. I took one of my motors, then was uh, the brushes wore out, and it converted into a brushless three-phase motor. Yeah. The I think I'm the first one that made the three-phase motor for obviously aircraft of some kind of a drone that is this small I mean let's take an LED to compare a normal 5 millimeter LED you can see it and just put my ambient light yeah. I just hooked up one of my half a watt LEDs and now you can see it better yeah, that's an LED. You can clearly see it's a free phase because three wires, of course. You can take it apart and you will see the insides of it. I mean, if you ever take apart the brush head motor, you probably know how it does. You can see it's uh, table. So that this the thing on the top. It's not spinning. It's just uh, like a stopper to stop this rotor, magnetic rotor, to fly off the shaft when it spins. So let me just take it uh, apart and you'll see the inside. Okay, that's it. Uh, it's turned apart. Let's see if ever camera... The camera ever focuses because everybody knows these cameras are super shade. Okay, it's getting a bit focused there. Wait. Let's try it like this. Okay, it's getting into a focus, I think. Or not. There we go. Okay, yay. It's probably because of light bouncing off. Yeah, you can see it's a hollow rotor, copper coils, and on the other side, there are connections. Let's well, let me find one. Okay. This is one of the units that I didn't convert, and I'm planning on that. Oh yeah, and the rotor, of course, you can see the magnet inside. I just, I took this metal casing with magnet in it, I just scored it with scalpel, I put it on a lathe and just keep scoring, till I scored it deep enough so I can just break that part off, and now I'm left with a nice rotor. I'm gonna take those uh, Lula Nano props, because they have wide center, just... Uh, get a drill bit, pass through, and then I can just uh, put it put it over the motor or rotor in this case. Uh, yeah, this is your normal rotor. This is a three phase rotor. You can see three phases. You can just get it on there. You can see three phases right there. But you gotta be careful. Some motors are like five to six, sometimes I can find even eight poles. Like this one. This one uh camera focus on it. This one has five of them. This one has five of them. So this one will not work because there is no five phase ESCs. But yeah. It's simple simple and easy principle. Then, if I just push on this rotor Lula Nano prop, I can do that. Wait, wait a second. Mm. You know what? This button is not working. Okay, that's all done. Uh, now, you're probably wondering with what kind of ESC am I gonna power these things? 
because the smallest ESC existing is four times bigger than this motor? Well, the answer is in one small microchip. I don't know its name, but I'm gonna leave. Uh, I'm gonna write down the part number of that microchip. It's very tiny and it's used in some high-speed PC fans that uses three-phase brushless technology. The chips are so small that I can probably fit it in the bottom of this motor, but that's not where I'm gonna put it. And one good thing I found about this is because you have steady bottom, you can make it fly the quad upside down and then you just land it on the motor. Pretty, pretty simple idea. And because the whole thing spins, you don't need to worry about getting your shaft bent and stuff. Yeah, pretty useful thing. So yeah, I'm gonna try now one last time to focus my camera. And then I'm gonna get a better camera because this is pile of shade. Yeah, you can see three wires coming off it. Yeah, red, green, and purple. Those are the thinnest wires I had, so yeah. I measure that this thing will take, when it's steady standing, it will take about an amp while it's spinning like optimum RPM or, or its normal load. It should just pull around uh, 100 to 200 milliamps of current, so yeah, that's not too much. It's, every, everything is okay. Ooh, shit. I think I just fucked up my chair. Yep, I just screwed my chair. God damn it. I hate these chairs. They always break for no damn reason. I just tilt a bit and the leg broke. Nope, not standing on it anymore. Not standing on it. Okay. This song is one, okay. Just like I'm trying to use this on one of my cameras for FPV because this is the lightest and smallest LED with very high power light off it. And now I'm just placing on one of these uh, 750 lithium ion batteries, 750 milliamps of capacity. See how. Uh, how hot would it get with this kind of power and yeah done Okay, so that's all about this Yeah, see you next time in another project video or if I get an ESC. Bye. Bye